What is up guys, Zack Scott here playing Pokemon. This is uh, the DLC, the Isle of Armor. I'm glad you guys could return back to this series. We left over 3,000 likes on the first episode. It already has over 100,000 views, so thank you so much for your support. Let's talk to some people, including you. One day I'll be, I like to be strong like you. Well, maybe one day. What's up, Master Mustard? Whatever your name is. Is that your name, Master Mustard? Ah, there you are, Z-Dog, keeping this old man waiting, hmm? Since you've completed all three trials, I give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Awesome. What does that look like? Does it look awesome? I hope it looks awesome. Now then, come on out. What the heck is this? Okay. Ah! <laughs> look at that cutie, huh? He is all over the place. Holy cow. <laughs> We're looking at each other. He's, he's scared of me. He's scared of little old me. Come on. Don't be scared. All right. Is it my man bun? Is that what you're scared of? All right. Is, it, is this the armor? What does that mean? The Isle of, This is the Isle of Armor. Bear. This Pokemon is, in fact, the secret armor of the Master Dojo. What? Say hello to Cub Fu. I know, I know, it's tiny, but raise it with diligence and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle, just like a suit of armor. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the metaphor is a bit lost on me, I'll be real. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. It just doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So I was thinking, Z-Dog, maybe if it joins you on your adventure, that'll help it break out of its shell a little bit. So take good care of Cub Fu, okay? It's in your hands now. So, okay, Cub Fu is what? Uh, Berma, Berma, what? Berma. Uh, anyway, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to look up Cub Fu really quick. He's new. He's a fighting type. Okay. So, hmm, fighting type. Well, I mean, I could get rid of uh, Sir Fetched, I suppose. Interesting. Okay, but let's see. Um, what other types of moves does he ultimately have? His fighting, normal. Yeah, Cub Fu became your Pokemon. Okay, like it or not, um, he has like a you know he might replace Zacian. Honestly, he has like a psychic move. He has Iron Head. Uh, wait, you know, wait when it gets leveled up. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't really know, man. Oh no, that's by by leveling up. It's just fighting. He is he does have Iron Head by uh, which is a Steel move and a Flying move. So hmm. I don't know. I mean, maybe he could just replace. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Anyway, let's continue onwards. Who do I want to? All right. Great. Fighting. Yes. New nickname. This is going to be my K dog. So the letter K is right there. Do I already have a K dog? <laughs> See, I don't know. K dog. Okay. Um, add to my party, I suppose. And then, as much as I like Z Dog too, which we got, you know, I mean, he's the whole point that I'm here. Um, I'm, I might get rid of. Uh, man, he's so high level, though. I might get rid of uh, F Dog. I don't know. F Dog's pretty darn cool. Yeah, maybe I'll. Ugh, I don't know. But then this guy has a steel move too. Man, I don't know what to do. I mean, I can get him back, though, right? I mean, gosh, he's so cool, though. I mean, he's the whole point of the, the game, Pokemon Sword. That's why I got Z-Dog. Um, okay. Oh, man. I don't, but this guy's fighting, too. But this guy also has, like, a leaf move. Ugh, I don't know what to do. Decision time, huh? I really like him. But how much do I like him? I don't know. Z Dog is super strong. Let's um For now, let's get rid of F Dog. If I change my mind, I'll change my mind later. F Dog has a leak. What would you like to do? Send the Pokemon to a box as is. Alright, so F Dog, you're out of here for now. K Dog is here. The first thing for you to do is become best friends with Cub Fu. He you need to build trust. Cub Fu hasn't really had a chance to explore the world outside the dojo, so maybe it'll help you become better friends if you uh, let it have a look around. Maybe take it to a spot that has a great view of the Isle of Armor. I'll have my students standing at good spots, so just keep an eye out. 
All right, great. They're like, what, us? And of course, having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly towards each other. What else? Oh, I know. I hereby grant you permission to keep a Pokemon out of its Pokeball here on the Isle of Armor. You can now let the Pokemon at your at the head of your team out of its Pokeball and take it for a stroll. You'll be friends in no time if you walk together. Go on, take a stroll with Cub Fu, why don't you? Once your best buddies, we'll start Cub Fu's training in earnest. Just stop by and let me know once you think you're ready. How will I know? How will I know? Hey, K-Dog. But what's his ultimate name? Because I might have to rename him. <laughs> I don't know what he turns into. I didn't even like look at his evolution or anything. Um, man, uh, what does he evolves into? Depends on how you. Okay. Oh, either way, he evolves into something with uh, a U. Urshifu. Uh, oh, this depends on where I train. Oof. Okay. I don't know what is going on here. <laughs> Let's just. Uh, okay. Let's just go. Lots of people here. How do I how do I make sure become friendly with Kapu and show it to Master Mustard? Okay, so Kapu and I are on a mission to become friendly. This is uh, T Dog. Um, so Pokemon. All right, K Dog, you're coming up here. You're only level ten. He's a fighting type. Uh, so let me take a look at my bag really quick. See what I, I can do here. Do I have any, uh, what's that do? No. Huh. Do I have any like experience stuff? Candy, like the rare candies are what I have, right? Raise the level of a Pokemon by one. Do I, did I use all my candies? <laughs> I might've used all my candies. Um, oops. Well, can I buy candies? Hold on. Let's see what we got here. I got so much stuff. Oh, goodness. Okay, Icy Rock. Grass-type moves. Flame Orb. Yellow. Okay, hold on. It damages the holder every turn. Put me latch on. Okay. Armor. Okay. Poison type. This is uh, base points of a single Pokemon. I mean, I guess I would hold a, a feather rather than nothing. Galarian twig. Uh, smoke ball. Mental. Nothing here is fighting related here. Um, electric type. Attack. Scope lens. It boosts the holder's critical hit ratio. That could be awesome. So scope lens is is a contender here for uh, for K Dog to hold on to. Protector normal gym, black belt. There we go. There we go. That's what we want to put on. Give it to K Dog. You're now a black belt. Awesome. Got that done. So yeah, rare. I, I don't have. Uh, I think I must have used all my candies. <laughs> um, I didn't even think about it. But so I need to level him up somehow. And this is gonna expert. Hold on, expert belt. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, man, this do I not have any other can? I guess I don't. Payback. Is there like a store anywhere near here? Anyway, let's uh, continue onwards. Treasures, pearl string, fancy apple. What happens if I were to drop in a like a bunch of rare candies? I don't know. Anyway, let's back up for a second. What do I do? Um, is is there any way? to like rest my Pokemon or to talk to someone. Okay, where do I go? Berries, have you got fresh picked berries? What do you say, interested in something? Oh, she has them. Um, Yeah, berries are fine. Thanks for stopping by. What about you, what do you have? I uh, love to cook, you come to the right place. I got the finest ingredients right here. No candies. Is anyone selling candies? Because that would be great if they were. What are you doing here? Uh, what trader? Ultra Ball, Wishing Pieces, nope. No candies. I don't even know if I can, uh, I, I didn't check over here, did I? Yeah, there we go, there's something there. What? What just happened? Expert Belt, another Expert Belt. So I now have two Expert Belts. 
This guy might be able to use him. So I, I need to find. Man, I need to I need to probably encounter some battles, and then quickly switch him out. You know what I mean? Like quickly just be like, nope, we're not gonna battle, and then have someone else battle for me. That is probably what we need to do. So let's start here. I don't know how much I need to level him up, honestly. Um, there's K Dog for now. He might change to U Dog later. So this is level 60. This is level 10. So we're gonna switch out Pokemon, and uh, let's just let's just switch out to someone strong. Or not, how about someone not as strong, like D Dog? Here we go. This could help. Then let's see how much that levels him up. Like hi, I'm here. Flatter. Don't flatter me. Whoa, it's a party. What does this do? My, why did you, oh, but I'm confused. That's okay, I can still attack you probably. Liquidation. Bounce. Well, great. I'm confused. Liquidation on nothing, that's okay. Try again. Here comes bounce. Ouch, slightly hurts me. Confused. Liquidation, please use it on. There you go. There you go. Goodbye. All right. So, K Dog should level up to 16. That's a pretty good level up. K Dog wants to learn the move Aerial Ace. Let's see. Forget an old move. What does K Dog know now? Leer. Yeah, let's just forget Leer because I'll never use this. Uh, Endure is pretty cool. Let's get rid of Leer, probably. Rock Smash. It's a fighting move. Whatever. We can learn this stuff later, right? So he's now level 16. Oh, and move Scary Face. What, let's, what's Scary Face? It's a normal move. Lowers its speed. Um. Uh, let's just give up on learning lowering speed. I guess. Sure, let's go. You want to go? Let's go. Jigglypuff. All right, so let's uh, switch Pokemon again with D Dog, so that maybe D Dog can level up, and we'll add a whole bunch to K Dog as well. Here we go. Hyper Voice. Ow. Here we go. Liquidation. Goodbye. And then, uh, so K Dog gets to level up a whole bunch again to level 20. Headbutt. Let's see. Should Headbutt be. Rock Smash is a 40. This is a 70. So, yes, let's forget Rock Smash. Oh, wait. Oh, Headbutt's normal. Darn it. Darn it. My bad. We'll learn a different fighting one soon. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, hey, let's let's just keep going. I need to level up K Dog here really quick. I think actually I need to take him to high, to, to beautiful scenes or whatever. All right, we're just getting K Dog started. But twenty D Dog, come back out here, please. We're not gonna do too many fights. There were like four Pokemon in this little grass pile, though. I might rename him to be U Dog if I get a chance to rename. Okay, I'm confused. Is he gonna bounce again? Don't bounce. If you bounce, I'm gonna be mad. So let's see. Ouch. I hurt myself. Now he's using bounce. All right. Let me do it again. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, here we go. Avoided the attack once more. Come on, I gotta hit you with these. 
There you go. There you go. Goodbye. K Dog leveled up to only 22 this time. I wish I had some more candies rather than just like the candies that level up an entire level. Because I mean, like, I'll, I would use that later in the game. Yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. No, no. Dang it. I ran into something else. Another Jigglypuff. That's okay. All right. Switch Pokemon once more to D Dog. All right. Double edge. Ouch. And Jigglypuff itself was damaged by the recoil. Here we go with liquidation. All right. This is a little repetitive, so I'm going to get out of here and uh, see what I can do. Okay, dog got a bunch of more experience. Another 4,000 leveled up again. Wants to learn the move Brick Break. So, forget an old move. Probably end up forgetting Headbutt. This is a 75-100. And, uh, yeah. So, let's forget Headbutt again. We want a fighting move. There we go. There we go. Brick Break. Back at it. So, I don't know. You know, it, it, we'll figure it out. Where? Okay, they're supposed to have people stationed all over the place. That's that Diglett guy. With good views, apparently, right? Let's let's use my bicycle so we can get to places pretty quickly. I don't know where these so-called good views will be, but... You guys have, have been giving me good views on this series, so thank you so much. Let me know if there's any easy way to get rare candies. There's a good view of the... Uh, of that whale, huh? Well, okay. When do you, do you think we're bonded enough yet? Like, I mean, like, how seriously do I take D Mr. Mustard here? I keep, I keep wanting to call him DJ Mustard. How, how long? How serious do you think he is about like you know? There's gonna be things all over the place. What are you, what are you? What are you doing? Oh, you're the bike. You're the bike customizer. Soothing wetlands. It's raining. Huh. I Whoa, that is huge. The heck is that? Jar of honey. Dude, I don't know where any of these so-called sites are. He's, he, has, he has to really keep up with me. How will I know when we bonded? Let me just go and just be like, hey, we bonded. We bonded, okay? Maybe I'll just go and be like, we did it. We had a good time. I'm like an absent father who only gets to see his kid once a week. <laughs> All right. Let's go check in with Mr. Mustard here. The fields of honor. I don't even know if, we, if we've done enough. I am just curious to see what he has to say, is all. Like, I mean, I leveled him up some, right? Let's see what he says. Maybe I'm wrong, but let's see what, what he says. Hmm, if only someone... No, but who would gather that mini? Gather that mini what? You talking to me now? Oh, Z-Dog, just the person I wanted to see. Tell me, do you collect Watts? Sure do. Of course you do. You're such a pro at all this, Z-Dog. I'll have you know that the Watt business is positively booming right now around here. They say that those who hold the most Watts hold the key to success. I've actually been trying to gather up some Watts to spruce up the dojo a bit to get more gear. But both my darling husband, hubby, and my son are more the indoors type, you know? And it's pretty hard for me to collect that many Watts all on my own. If you ever happen to have some Watts to spare, Z-Dog, I'll be glad to take them. Oh, but I want to ask you to give them to me and get nothing in return. That would be This would be a business transaction, of course. I'll reward you for your generosity. Okay, simply talk to her when I have more. I have some, uh, I, I like some some watts. How many watts do you bear to part with? 10,000. Yes, that's a lot. Well, Z-Dog, you've given us 10,000 watts so far. With over 5,000 watts, I can afford to have a hairstylist come work here at the dojo too. Great. That's exactly what I wanted, a hairstylist. 
<laughs> hello, hello, is this the hair salon? Yes, this is Honey from the Master Dojo. I was wondering if you could spare a stylist to come enjoy the lovely island life with us. Yes, that's right, the Isle of Armor. Mm-hmm. They're sending someone right over. Great. Exactly what I wanted. Hello, Dojo. It's it's lovely to meet you all. I'm your new hairstylist, but I can't bear all the secret arts of hairstyling to you all, so when you like to have something done, please call me in this room here. No cameras allowed. No speaking of what you see inside this room. Now that's a real pro. True masters are always picky about their craft. <laughs> but now we can always look our best, even out there in the wilds. And since we've gathered over 10,000, I can order a rotom rot rotomy terminal for the dojo. Great. That sounds perfect, actually. Okay, hello, hello. Is this the Pokemon Center? This is Honey. For, yeah, I'd like to buy one of your ro ro Rotomy terminals for some watts. But what do you say? Yes, that's right. Great. Where is it? Where is it going to go? Nice. There it is. All right. That is great. That's fantastic. I'm glad I have one of these. Doesn't look quite right. There's something written on the screen here. Let me see. Thank you for your purchase. To get your new ro 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 Rotomy up and running, you must first install our proprietary software. To order your copy today, contact our sales department at what? They're simply trying to gouge us for more watts of all the greedy, conniving business practices. I'm awfully sorry about the z dog but it looks like we'll need a bit more of your help to get our Rotomy up and running. All right, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's, what's the next goal post? Uh, another 10,000. We get ro Rotomy up and running. Okay, great. Uh, I mean, here's some watts. Here's another 10k. Yes. I don't, uh, how am I supposed to get 50k? Okay, let's get it up and running. Come on, proprietary software and all. All right. Yes, yes, it does look lovely, but we prefer to actually work, too. Could you send someone right over? All right, come on, get the software. Now that it's taken care of, let's fire it up. There we go. Roto, please to greet you, Ms. Honey. Roto me at your service. I, and I am delighted to hear it. I'm sure you'll be worth every last what you've cost us. In fact, we'll make sure of it. Our Roto me is up and running, thanks to your Watsy dogs, so be sure to use it plenty. I will indeed. Uh, what? What? Check boxes. So let's see. I have a bunch of uh, things in my box. Some things I've even, uh, you know. Where's K Dog? This is box two. Box one. There we go. Now this is some serious stuff. We got E Dog here. And we got Bulbous, yeah, we got we got a lot of stuff. I, so I don't even use E-Dog anymore. And there's G-Dog. And... Yeah, there's an F-Dog. And this Charmander is supposed to be pretty good, too. So we got Bulbasaur, Slowpoke, Charmander, and then F-Dog is here. So things are looking pretty good. If I ever need an E-Dog, I know where to go. He's right there. Pretty big guy, right? Pretty cool looking. Um, So, let's see. How do I rename? Am I able to do that here? What's L Lotto ID? Alright. Sure, try my luck. 89739. Nope, no match. That's okay. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, Alright, I'm fine. What's next? What's the next goal post here? Another 10,000 we could, uh, vending machine, we could buy cheap drinks. All right, not quite there yet, but maybe soon. What's this, what's this? Let's see how you and your cup food are getting along. Getting there, but still lots of room for improvement. Your bond will become stronger as you have battles and gain experience together. I'll put some little markers on your town map for where the view of the Isle of Armors is just gorgeous. You and cup food should go and enjoy the scenery. Once you two are the best of friends, we'll start with cup food's proper training. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Okay. We gotta get the Brawler's Cave, Challenge Road, Pot Bottom Desert, and of course, uh, Loop Lagoon. So I know how to get to Loop Lagoon because I was there before. So let's go and uh, see what we got. It's like down here somehow. There's like a, hold on, don't mess with me. Is it down the, no. Hey, stop it. Got a great ball. I think I gotta cross that bridge first. 
Have I checked these out enough? All right, it's a good idea to check these so that we can get the watts that are needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, close call. Close call. I almost threw one in there. All right, uh, let's go over here. Gor courageous Cavern, I thought it said Gorgeous Cavern for a second there. All right, so. Once I have another 10,000. Oh man, I found a Diglett. All right, S six more here. Oh, so I don't know how much I'll be doing the Diglett thing, but there's one in case you're wondering. But I really don't know how much I'll be doing that, honestly. Got a water stone. Got a revive. Well, there's another one. All right. Five more in the Courageous Caverns. So maybe it's not too hard, but still. But still. There's another one. Okay, so maybe this isn't that bad. Four more here. Now hold up, there's gonna be a lot of stuff. There you go. And then let's see. Have I been? Did I go this way? Did I? I'm trying to I'm trying my best to avoid all of these. So maybe it's not as hard as I think. So I got three more diglets left in this cavern. Let's uh, keep searching the cavern really quick. Because it shouldn't be. There's another one. All right, and then there's two more left. They're not that hard to see. I thought they'd be a lot harder to find. And I don't know what the ultimate reward is for doing it. But since I'm here and I've already found one, might as well try to end on a bit of a positive note, trying to find all of them. Did I go down here? Oh wow, that's big. Yeah, it looks cool. All right, there's one, there's one more left here in this area. There it is, over there. And plus, there's a lot of uh, stuff coming out of this den. Now, I can't catch this one, it said, right? Because when I did Don't Invite Others, it was like, you can't catch this Pokemon. I'm like, fine. I don't know if I want to. Even try out Taunt. All right, great. There's the other Diglett. Star piece. 200 watts. So I got all the diglets from uh, this particular cavern. So I got all the diglets from Courageous Cavern. That's not bad. Now, uh, you know what's what's going to be the overall goal now that I, now that I've done that. Like, let's uh, let's go back to that that we need to see the sights with this guy. I'm just glad to have done something here. Plus, I got a bunch more watts. So let us see the sights. Loop Lagoon, hello. Hi there, Z-Dog. You've got to see the view from here. Come on, why don't you and Kupfu enjoy the scenery together? Yes. All right. <laughs> His mouth is just agape. He's like, whoa. This place is awesome. Great scenery. Too many clouds in the sky, but whatever. All right. It's almost time to go show Master Mustard how close you've gotten. Well, good. Bring with your Poke uh, being with your Pokemon makes everyday scenery feel brighter and more colorful, don't you think? All right, that looks like a uh, that looks like a Diglett as well, but you know I don't know. I don't want to find every Diglett right now, do I? Maybe I do. I don't know what the answer is. A pearl. Let's go out here because that is lit up, and I could definitely use the two thousand uh, points it'll give me.
You know, maybe maybe it would be good to just go and uh, you know find all of the uh, diglets one day. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to sp you know spend an episode doing that because I definitely could. Oh oh boy! I, I did not mean to be up here. Let's go looking. Uh, bumped into somebody. All right, Sandy Gast. Come on, K Dog. So level 24 is not quite good enough. So let's bring out D Dog again. He's got a bunch of super effective moves against this thing, including liquidation itself. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, "What? You sent out him?" All right, so we're going to fight with liquidation. Here we go. Wash you away. Goodbye. So hopefully, you know, K Dog for now, or maybe U Dog in the future, will. You know, you only got 2,000 something. That's, that's fine. You still level up to 25. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Let's uh, ride out then, and uh, we got to go to more places. I wish there's a way to go a lot, a lot faster. Courageous Cavern. There we go. Oh, man. So high. Dreadnaw. I mean, when I encounter someone, I might as well just battle him for the for K Dog's benefit. So, Switch, who's. Uh, is anyone super effective? Z Dog 2 has a fighting move. Super effective. Sacred Sword. Let's swap Pokemon. Here we go. Get ready. Body slam. Oof. Sacred sword, super effective. Let's do this. Nice. Sorry about it, Dreadnought. All right, K-Dog leveled up with 6,000. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's find more of those, and that's that's really good. T-Dog, 66. Yeah, give me some more Dreadnoughts. I guess I'll fight him. 6,000 points was pretty good. All right, over here, there is a... What, what place is this? What is this called? Challenge Beach. Hey, come on. We could use another 6,000 or whatever. Come on, K-Dog. But not K-Dog. Instead, we're going to switch Pokemon over to Z-Dog 2 again. All right. Hey, buddy. Body slam. All right. I'm going to fight with a fighting move. Sacred Sword. All right. Goodbye to you as well. Sea Dog might level up. He did, and K Dog leveled up a few times. Detect. Let's see. What does Detect do? I don't think I want to use it's a fighting move. Uh, to protect itself from all attacks. I'd rather have that than endure, I guess. Sure, let's forget Endure. Awesome. Awesome. Great news. Okay, so moving on. Where's the, uh, you know, I don't know. I could do this all day, but let's just not. Let's, let's not do it all day. <laughs> Where's the next view? I need the views. So we're in Soothing Wetland suddenly. I just got Endure. Haha. <laughs> So I could reteach him endure if I wanted to, right? Hey, buddy, keep up. <laughs> All right, let's find out where the next uh, person is. The next view. All 
All right, 2,000 watts. Ooh, ice. Water ice. Is that a Lapras? All right, let's ride out away from there. And uh, let's see where we actually need to go. Where, where are the views? You know what I'm saying? Where are the views? It's a, just some sort of thing over here, pearl string. Is there one here? Like, I'm, am I on the right path? Let's find out if I'm on the right path. Town map. Where are the views at? Uh, I'm not no, there's not there's nothing here. We got to move on. We got to move on to uh, Brawler's Cave Challenge Road and Pot Bottom Desert So where is that? Brawler's Cave Challenge Road Pot Bottom Desert Here we go. Oh this place. Fo no this place. This place is terrible. How do I get out of here? Big mushroom Oh man, okay. Uh, it's probably not that bad. Let's just get out of here the best way we can. Let's head out this way, here we go. Soothing wetlands. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. What? No, get out of here. Wild whooper. Uh, no, we're just gonna run out of here probably. I Don't know. Let's switch Pokemon. Let's just fight it uh, Let's bring in D dog again. He's still the weakest And here we go Muddy water no ew Let's try liquidation Probably won't work. His water absorb. Oops. That's okay. Uh, amnesia. What does that do? All right. Let's do jaw lock. All right. Not too bad. Earthquake. That was pretty painful. Let's do jaw lock again then. This should finish him off. All right, good. Oh, K Dog only got like a thousand. Okay, that's fine. Let's uh, move on. I didn't even mean to bump into him. We're just trying to. Oh! Field of Honor, oh my god. So, no, we gotta go this way. Through this cave, probably. Dang it! This is not, okay, this is a uh, shootle. I don't think these are worth fighting. I'm not getting a lot of XP from these things. Run. I couldn't get away, oh, come on, I'm gonna die. Oof. Corral it, oh my god. All right. Can I run now? Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, ugh, reaching my bag. I got to do a uh, paralysis heal on K Dog. Then let's use a. Uh, let's see. Super potion. Let's use a hyper potion. And another one there, sure. It's good enough. I don't mean to take up so much time with this, but I mean, this is kind of a grindy DLC so far. I mean, it's wanting you to get like thousands of uh, watts and turn them in. All right, so this is a, uh, this is an area here, Brawler's Cave. There was a site there. Hi there, Z-Dog. You got to see the view from here. Come on, why don't you and Cup Fu enjoy the scenery together? Sure enough, we will. <laughs> I like that his mouth is, I think that both of our mouths are just a game. Like, whoa, what a beautiful cave. All right. Again, if you want me to get Diglets, let me know. Oh, we're best of friends. Okay, great. So I don't got to find any more. So I got him to level 30, and we're great friends. Let's go. And let's see what he wants us to do next. Yeah. 
Excuse me. All right. Going back at it. I can probably upgrade uh, another, I probably give her another 10,000, right? Oops. Uh, here, I share some watts, another 10K for me. Uh, we get a vending machine for the dojo too. Sweet, where's it gonna go? Is it gonna have software? Does software work? Hello, is this Macrocosmos Living? Yes, this is Honey over at the Master Dojo. I was just wondering if we could get one of your lovely vending machines over here at our dojo. Yes, yes, that's right, of course. Where's it gonna go? Over in the corner here, so we can get energy drinks. That's some refreshing water. We'll be able to offer drinks at far less than the usual asking price, so I get all of your drinks from here from now on if I were you. Uh, we've only got fresh water in stock so far, but the dojo services are, are really getting robust. With some more watts, I can expand the lineup even further, too. All right, we'll check that out soon. We're friends. What's this? What's this? Let's see how you and Kung Fu are getting along. Bearmore. Good, good. You two are just the best of friends now, aren't you? Kung Fu's really become more confident. How wonderful. I dare say I think you're both ready. Follow me, you two. What, what are we ready for? Oh, boy. Let's go, Kung Fu. We're ready, apparently. Dum dum dee dee la la dee da. All right. Whoo, I guess this is as good a spot as any. It's raining. Now then, Sea Dog and Cub Fu, if you want to become stronger, there are special training grounds just for Cub Fu. Heck yes, prepare yourselves for the Tower of Two Fists. All right. Oh, I saw that earlier. The blue tower is the Tower of Waters. And the red tower is the Tower of Darkness. Choose wisely, wisely, since you'll only be able to climb one of the two towers. Kung Fu's fighting style will change depending on the tower you choose, and the types it gets will change as well. Think carefully. Each tower is five stories tall, and each floor has a tough opponent waiting for you. Make sure you level up Kung Fu properly before trying to climb up. You can reach both the towers by heading towards the Forest of Focus. All right, you might even be able to find a shortcut if you ride your bike across the river. I'm really looking forward to when you two make it to the top of one of those towers. It's going to be so exciting. All right, so how much leveled up does it need to be? I mean, probably 60, right? I mean, but how, man, that's gonna take some time to get. So I don't know if I should just focus on, you know, I don't know what I should do, honestly. But if you guys have any clues, let me know in the comments below. Uh, you know, how should I level up Cub Fu? Particularly think about how he'll work best in my party. I'll be reading the comments, and then I'll use uh, your input to decide what to do next episode. So let me know in the comments below, Tower of Water or Tower of Darkness. Uh, you know, if I go with the Water or Darkness, both of them kind of replace the purpose that D-Dog is here for. So it's we're kind of messing up my party big time, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Also, let me know how I can level them up quicker. Like, where can I find more rare candies and stuff? Because um, maybe that'll help me too. Uh, otherwise, it might be a bit of a grind. I might have to do some of it off camera, but we'll see. I'll read your comments. Thanks for the feedback. Come back next time for more. I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.